Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. It's Mr. Truck with another truck review. I have the 2020 GMC Sierra Denali Sexy Beast 3500 110 Dually and it's white black interior it's gorgeous it's got two-tone leather actually on the inside but this has the famous 6.6 duramax which is 445 horsepower and it is 910 pound feet of torque and it's made it to a 10 speed allison that's exciting transmission we're actually up here at jackson lake of course it's closed with the virus so we're getting some good views back here nice lake pretty popular lake for Morgan County but this truck it has that multi pro tailgate which is really cool but I've got a hitch on the back so I was going to flip it all down and set on that and do my opening there but I gotta go take my hitch off so I'll do that back at the ranch anyway it's an awesome truck we're gonna pull a dump trailer with it and haul some more rock into my sandy yard so I don't get stuck and we keep working on that, but we'll be hauling about 15,400 pounds. Now this truck, and that's the cool thing about, about GM, GMC and Chevy, both will all, with dualies, one tons will all tow 30,000 pounds, no matter what the configuration. I know they go all the way up to 35.5 on a certain configuration, but that's a lot of weight that this puppy can tow. So come with us and we'll watch it tow the 15,000 pound trader. It's a little harder to do a gooseneck during this virus. But anyway, we're doing what we can so you can see the new trucks for this sexy beast Denali 2020. Come join us. Gotta love these cameras. And this one's so cool. That's where it's at now. Uh, let's see, I don't remember what that one does. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got all these 3D pictures now. Whoa, pretty cool. Wow, I love that one. <laughs> now you can see each side of that trailer so well. Let's see, I'm going to go to another one. Yeah, awesome. And there's 360. Let me go over here and we'll find the one that magnifies the ball. Oh, I love that one especially. Once you get close enough, you just back up. I have it in four wheel drive. There we go. Probably a little too far in. There we go. I'll go back and see how close I am. I would say that's really close. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's really close. And I'm not backing up straight. I'm backing up at an angle, which is not good. But I knew I was lined up right. So that means my front tires are kind of dragging sideways. And the little trough that I'm creating with this four wheel drive. But yeah, I love these cameras. Now this is so cool, this is my central monitor going off of a camera, must be on the mirror, showing me what's on my right side, because I had that blinker on. Now I'm going to switch to the left side as I change lanes, and look at that. Shows me the lane, shows me if there's anybody over there, shows me if there's any blind spots. This is incredible. On his GMC Denali Sexy Beast. Well, I am empty in this GMC Dooley Duramax 6.6 10 speed Allison. And I'm just empty cruising down the road with the cruise control on and only getting 12 and a half. So I'm going to load up with about 5 ton, 10,000 pounds, plus 5,000 on the trigger, 15,000 pounds. Here in a little bit of more crushed rock that I'm going to dump in my, tra my uh, trailer lot. And we'll see what kind of fuel mileage you get when I'm pulling 15,000 miles. <laughs> we'll see what kind of fuel mileage I get when I'm towing the... Uh, 15,000 pounds. Get on the road again. Anyway, there's the truck here. 
flying end road in this sexy beast GMC Denali. It's white, it's gorgeous. Crew cab, 3500 dually with a six point six Duramax diesel and a 10 speed Allison. It's got all the cool stuff. This thing's loaded. And we're towing uh, the Iron Bull dump trader mine, the 16 by 16 by 8. And we just loaded up, oh gosh, we loaded up 15,400 pounds total. That's the trailer weights 5,000, so we got a little over uh, 10,000 pounds of crushed rock for my circle drive and for my uh, lot where I parked all the trailers because it's deep sand and you got to have some good rock in there. area get stuck moving these big trailers and I've had some big ones in there. But I got four test trailers and they're up on this little hill. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm testing this truck out, pulling you know over uh, over 15,000 pounds. I'm still got a little bit of room on the trailer. The trailer has got two 7,000 pound axles so you got a GVW of 14,000 plus 10 to 15 percent. You can add to that for the tongue weight that transfers to the truck. But, this Denali is loaded to the gills, and I just showed you how I can look, turn the blinker on, look out the, uh, in whatever direction I'm going, instead of being a, uh, a uh, driver's blind spot, a little signal, or a light, or a flashing light, or whatever they've got on, they've all got something different on this, and a center stack, which is at least 8 inches, it actually shows you what's with a camera on the mirror, what's next to you. And that's really nice. It's much better than that little tiny flashing yellow light that everybody seems to come up with. This is fantastic. A lot of room in this because this has got a bigger cab. It's got, uh, it's an eight foot bed. And so you got a lot longer truck. And that's what I'm wondering about because Chevy used to be one of the nicest, and this is a GMC Denali. So GMC and Chevy are always the nicest riding trucks. The heavy duties or half tons, whatever you're driving. And I always liked that, but now that they've made this new model that came out in 2000, which this is a 2020. 2020 came out with this big, big truck. And, uh, you know, kept the horsepower and torque the same, but the capacity's gone way up. And, and the length has gone way up, so it's a longer frame, longer wheelbase, with this crew cab, an eight foot bit. So, I can't figure out why it's riding rougher, and I've driven several of these now. We had Chevys earlier, I drove with with, uh, with Andre, a TFL truck, doing the IK, that thing with the Bagus that trailer just bounced like crazy, terrible rough. With GM, you never used to be that way. They were the smoothest ride, the very smooth. And this GMC, same way. They used to be the smoothest ride trucks, and I'm only towing 15,400 pounds, and this thing's like driving a basketball, bouncing down the road. I do not understand. I don't have to do with the longer frame or, you know, when they jacked up all these things now will go over 30,000 pounds and uh, I don't know if that, that means the lease springs are thicker. I didn't get a very good answer on that when I asked what they've done to the lease springs. It needs to be asymmetrical, which means if the rear axle is further ahead of center of the lease spring. So they've done a few things, but they're still asymmetrical axles, which I really like. And that always made a big difference in how much they squatted. Well, now they squat a little more and they ride a little rougher. So I don't know if that is the suspension problem or if they have say, I have no idea. I haven't figured it out. So we'll work on that because I'd like to get that smooth ride back. So hopefully GM is uh, figuring that out. So maybe 2021s might have a little bit of a difference to them. But I mean, they're good trucks. And you know, great visibility. Your tall trucks. This one has the scoop because it's got the diesel. So it's got a real, uh, real hood scoop always looks cool. This has got that big giant chrome grill. A lot of chrome on these Denali's. That's why I call them the sexy beast. Because they do have a look. And this looks, <laughs> you look at it from the front, that looks macho. Not that women can't drive it. A lot of women drive these whole and pulling horse trailers and all that. I'm just saying it just has that, that muscular look. I've always liked that on their big heavy duties. But uh, we'll go with the numbers later on. And yeah, i got to get back and dump this load and you know in social you know, I've got my, my scarf that I put on when I go someplace I got my gloves I stay away from people and 
you know, they didn't load where, where I loaded rock. I was in the truck, went through the scales, waved at them, went around, they loaded me, paid for it, and took off. And where I pay for it, it's all plexiglass, you know, they don't let you anywhere near anybody. Which is good. I noticed that at a post office I went to this morning to get packages because they don't seem to want to deliver anything to my place other than an envelope. So I went and got that, and that's all plexiglassed off now. So it's just getting better and better. People understand how serious of a threat this is, this virus thing. And hopefully they'll get a vaccine and we'll all go back to normal. It's going to take maybe a few months for that to happen. Nobody knows how long it is. They may all tell you wild stories, but nobody knows. But I think a lot of it depends on how soon the vaccine comes out. But I miss it. I miss going out to restaurants. I'm a lazy fart. I don't like doing dishes. I don't like cooking. So I used to go out quite often, and I enjoyed that. I mean, that's one of the few things I have in, in my old age. I don't hunt anymore. I, you know, I still do the ATVs. But, you know, between sleeping and eating, that's my biggest deals. I miss that. And I miss picking my nose. I mean, that, that was always fun. But not now. And you can't touch any part of your face. So anyway, that's, that's how it is. But we'll get over it. But yeah, I like this truck. I just wish I had a little bit of ride. But, uh, you know, they straighten everything up. The, the brake controller's on the right side where it should be. It's easy to get a hold of, easy to see. The steering wheel's straight, sit off to the side. And it's a comfortable truck. And it's a quiet truck. And um, I'll go through and read all the options on this. Because it's, uh, it's an interesting truck. Now they got the power uh, telescoping mirrors, which I really like. Power fold. And I'm still getting used to the look of them, but I mean, I think they're an improvement. And this has got the moonroof too, so you know, it's got like every, everything known to man. Then, you know, it's got the running boards, and I'll show you the step on the bumper. That's one of Kelsey's favorite options. <coughs> I'm gonna have to have some mango juice. But, yeah, these dualies, I'm not really excitable about the fuel mileage. Empty, I, was, I got all the way up to 12.5. Now pulling this trader, let me reset it and see what it likes to do now because it's showing 11 and that's pretty good for a load. Let me figure out how to do this. There we go. Wow. Yeah, it thinks I'm getting 11. But, geez, I'm already at Kingsburg. I'm only doing 75. But we'll find out. But yeah, it's it's spring. The grass is green. The cattle are having babies. Everything's happened. Dump this load with this iron bowl dump trailer. It's awesome. I love this heads-up display. You can see your miles per hour, what your uh, adaptive cruise control is doing, all these other things. And there's that rough spot of concrete it just shakes like crazy. It's uh. It's every, every truck shakes through this section, no matter how good it is. It's just a bad section of road. But we got our exhaust brake on, we got our tow haul mode going, and, and, and this 10-speed Allison, it's quite a transmission. And it great shifts well. I mean, it's they all great shift better at slower speeds, so you got to get them down to a certain speed for they kick in hard. But uh, yeah, I like the gauge layout, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. And it, uh, I don't know what it is that this hood starts off taller than the Chevy or what, but it seems like it's got better visibility, but it really shouldn't. The, the grill seems like it's down in front of this, so I think the whole hood is bigger, it's taller. But it's definitely different. Got the adaptive cruise control on, got the big gap. And it's so nice now that you can use adaptive cruise control with trailers. So I love that because a lot of times you're going through town on interstate, going through heavy traffic, and it'll slow you down, speed you up, do all this stuff automatically. You know, because I daydream. What that means when I'm driving down the road is I'll get to go a little faster. And this way you don't have to worry about that. I really like that. And a lot of people don't like it because it gets it actually costs you the fuel because it slows you down, speeds you up uh, quite a bit. There's a lot of traffic. If there's not any traffic, it works like regular cruise control. But I do like it. I think it's one of my favorite uh, options on this. But bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Rough piece of 76. You know, there's usually right around the rocking and then all the way up, at least to the Wiggins Hill. But yeah, this is a gorgeous truck. I'm a little disappointed that the Denali, being the sexy beast, 
doesn't seem to have as many options as the high end. I mean, they were the only high end GM truck until Chevy came out of the high country a couple years ago, maybe three years ago. And now it's similarly loaded to the, to the Denali, but you know, where the Denali on the dash and all this is aluminum and it's plastic on the high country. So there's definitely a high end truck, but it's not optioned out quite like what, uh, say, a platinum Ford would be or a very top end uh, Ram. Uh, is, that, is that a platinum too? Can't remember. It's, you know, uh, Laramie Lake, the Longhorn, and something else. But uh, it seems like the top end on a Ram or a Ford has a few more options than Denali does. It seems a little wild. Denali used to be the, you know, the, the king of kings when it came to uh, luxury trucks. And it's still a luxurious truck, but it, uh, I think they need to figure out some more options so they can catch up to everybody else. I mean, the seats are comfortable. I'm so glad that now they're straight in line at the steering wheel. Or they used to be a little bit cockeyed on the driver's side. But, yes indeed, the competition is really fierce in this heavy duty market. I mean, Ford's kind of taken over for years. And now Ram, especially in half tons, is kind of nudging out GM some months. This particular quarter, they've actually, the GM trucks nudged out Ford, which is really unusual. But it's good to see. I mean, competition helps everybody. Helps us, helps them, helps the, the OEMs improve their trucks. And uh, it's good. It's good to have competition. Otherwise, things would not be nearly as good as they are now. You know, you go way, way back when, in the 70s, uh, there was some poor quality trucks out there because they didn't have enough competition. I think when Toyota Nissan got in there, it kind of scared them. But uh, it hasn't really taken a lot of market share away, the Tundra or the Titan. To the half ton market, but uh, the, the Japanese, you know, until they, you know, really kick butt in the half ton market, the uh, light duties are not going to get into the heavy duty market. There's no reason to, because you know, it always takes a certain amount of numbers to pay for all these projects. So now it's the big three out of Detroit that own the heavy duty market, and they're really competitive now. So I, I think it's working well the way it's supposed to. And, you know, Chevy last year is having some problems getting their numbers up. Now I think they're getting up there, and then you got the virus comes down. The virus hit Ford pretty hard. It's going to hit everybody pretty hard. It's hard to sell trucks, but if you're <laughs> in a place where you need a tax write-off, where you're making good money, and you can afford a truck, now's a good time to get it. I mean, they're, they're talking about zero interest for 84 months. That is seven years, some crazy thing starting to finance these big trucks like their RVs or something. But anyway, yes, if you can afford it, it's a good time to buy. Or maybe next month would be a better time to buy because, you know, they're all hurting. And if you're if you're rich enough, it's a good time to start buying houses because all, there's, there's a lot of bargains out there. I bet Warren Buffett's having a heyday right now. I mean, he can buy a, you know, I just saw Saudi Arabia buy up uh, one of the cruise ship companies because it's cheap, you know, their stocks drop to nothing. So, you know, the ones with the money are taking advantage right now. So maybe you're one of those lucky guys who have that big pile of money just sitting around waiting, wondering what to do with it. It's a good time to go shopping here, maybe now or in the next couple of months. I'm not that guy, though. <laughs> no, I'm not that guy. I'm starting to look through brochures of nursing homes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm out here at <laughs> Lake Jackson Lake State Park. I'm out here watching the water run around. There's hardly there's a few people out here on boats and actually just enjoying themselves. Park's actually closed, so it's just me and the penguins and a few people. And uh, hopefully I'll get it to come out here a lot next summer and review it and get my park pass and do all that stuff. But this, uh, yeah, this is a, this Denali, my sexy beast, four-wheel drive crew cab, dual wheels with the Duramax and the Allison. It's called the Summit White. The interior is called the Dark Walnut and Dark Ash. It's got the, the accent on the, on the seats. He's got the coolest steps. We've got the one back on the bumper. That's Kelsey's favorite. And I love it too. I think it's the most practical one you can get for you know using it with the trailer. This does have the uh, multi-pro tailgate, which I like. 
but I've got a hitch on the back, so I can't really use it. So when I get back to the to the office, I'll take the hitch off, and then I'll sit in that. That uh, I'll show you how all that works because I've shown it several times. It's not like it's you don't know what's going on. And I really like uh, where they've changed the the def fill nozzles now back where the gas tank fill nozzle is, where everybody else has it. You used to put it up under the hood, and it was such a pain to open the hood and lift this five-gallon jug above your head while you poured it in that little spout. Glad they changed that, and also moved the tank so it's not dragging underneath the frame. So they keep improving this. But uh, this also has some kind of fast idle. i got to find out how you turn off or on if you just pump the foot or not. But it's got a fast idle for if you're on a construction site and you need a little more generating power out your plug-ins. Or, you know, at high idle uh, when you're sitting for a long period of time. There's different reasons, you know, commercially why you need that. And, of course, this they changed all this. Uh, axle ratios used to be a 373. Now it's a 342. That seems to be the most common axle for towing with GM. They're half tons of everything. It's a 342. This has got a block heater, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah, the uh, and it's got a bigger tank, too. It's a 36-gallon. Ram has this 32 gallon one on a big dually crew cab like this. I don't understand that. Ford goes all the way up to a 48 gallon tank on an eight foot bed. But um, yeah, and this is ready to tow a 20,000 pound bumper, which is pretty respectable. It's got a big payload, 5,207 for the payload. And of course, the trailer, the uh, gooseneck trailer on this is rated at 31,100, which is a lot. I li appreciate the simplification that, that uh, GM's done where they've got. Uh, all their dualies now over over a dually over 3,500 long bed are all rated to tow over 30,000. Of course, they didn't have one configuration, two wheel drive, single cab, 3,500 is rated to tow 35,500. But um, GVW, of course, like all the one tons, is about uh, 14,000. And uh, it's Big nose, this thing's kind of like a freight liner. It's got that big nose, big grill, because you need all the extra cooling. They've been done a bigger fan. They've done a lot of things to it. And it's cool, too, is it's got the fenders, you know, on Chevy are round. On their half tons, it's kind of squared off, and then it angles off on the front. Well, this angles off on both sides. I think the symmetry is better on these dualies, on the heavy duties, where they've done that with the little rim, the black rim around the fender. And this puppy is only eighty thousand five sixty. I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, eighty thousand dollars five hundred and sixty, but it's cheaper than Ram or Ford in the loaded. And this is the most luxurious GMC you can buy, so you get the most loaded Ram or all that, and it's dramatically higher than what this one is. Base model on this is sixty six thousand three hundred. Then I'll tell you about all the rest of the accessories. Oh, somebody's backing a boat up. They're going to launch a boat. You wouldn't believe this place is closed because everybody's here. But they're quite a ways from everybody, too. They're, they're kind of standing back. Um, now, let's see. What else is special on here? Uh, it's got all the new safety stuff. The, it's got the automatic headlight beams, which I really like. Automatic emergency braking, which is cool. That saved me a few times. Lane departure, collision alert, forward collision alert. Um, he'll start... It's got the variable steering assist. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Trader package. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got the Bose premium stereo. I like Bose. Keyless start and stop. Remote start. All the neat stuff that's really cool. Tin-way power seats. And they're heated. Both rows are heated seats. Uh, let's see. It's got um, a lot of LED lights. Anyway, and this has the surround vision, the heavy for a surround vision, which is really cool. I mean, the cameras, I've showed you that. You can see all around the trailer. They've got an option where you can see through the trailer. You can put cameras behind the trailer, in the trailer. It'll all plug into this. This has all those options. Um, and it's got that gooseneck fifth wheel package to put the trailers, the big trailers in the back. And that's 400, 745, which is actually cheap. That may just be the box, you know, I'm not sure if that's the, the prep package or not. But, uh, yeah, it, it's it's awesome uh, what these trucks have come to. Now, the diesel on this, the Duramax 6.6, .6, the, the option price on it's $9,750. Then the, the Denali Ultimate Package is 2870 
So this does have all the packages. But yeah, this is a loaded one. I really like these Denali's. I like the way they look. I mean, I'm, I'm a chrome fan. Not everybody is. That seems to be the fad is to go to all blacked out or color-coded things. But yep, this is Duramax diesel flat-out flies. There's a 10-speed. Allison helps. She get gears closer together. She can grab the next gear faster, which means you're running in overdrive a lot of the times. Of course, GM doesn't put the indicator that tells you what gear you ran up where they wish they would because it's nice to know when you're towing trailers for a lot of reasons it's nice to know what gear you're in oh wow the heads up display says i'm going too fast so slow down there pony showing you the heads up display you get it out there and you move it up and down wherever you want it so cool get it out of your way or where you want it and you got all these modes you can change on what shows up on it it's like your adaptive cruise control compass and you can make it lighter or darker. It's just so cool. I love that. Yeah, this is a rocket ship. This old Duramax does really well on speed. It surprises you how fast it can be. But on the interstate, so that's that's cool about that LED display. It tells you what your speed is right in front of you. You don't have to look down or take your eyes off the ball. I like that. It's a nice quiet truck too. Cool. Look at this. You can see it in there. That is the lights plug. You can plug in, get 110. Yep. Pretty cool. Of course, on this side, you have the new thing here for your cameras inside the trailer and outside the trailer. They're also down at the hitch on the bumper pole. And then, of course, down here, you got the 7 RV plug for your gooseneck and also one down by the bumper. Jeepers, and look at these giant mud flaps. I don't hardly ever see those on a dually from the factory. Boy, howdy, that is a big mud flap. You need that for dual to protect those trailers. Now you talk about heavy duty suspension, look at all those leaf springs. Look the bumper pad there, it's a lot of leaves. Yeah, it's heavy duty. Yep, there's what's. There's a cool seat. Now, this is a brown and black two-tone kind of a seat leather in this Denali. And it's got a lot of room in here, my goodness. Over there, you see that's the gooseneck ball kit on the floor. So, you, you know, you can put a fifth wheel in here. But it's got the factory gooseneck ball system, which has the pucks for your safety chains and in the ball you put in the middle. You know, look at this giant floor. And it's really cold back here. Of course, it's Denali. Got heated seats. You got air conditioning. You got everything back here. You can go to plug-ins to plug up your, your phone and all that. But this is a large cab. They've added that extra four inches to the wheelbase. You got more room in the back seat. And you got a nice cushion. These seats flip up so you can put look at the storage shelf, which is really nice. I had to do that to my truck because I didn't have a storage shelf. But uh, yes. Cool, cool truck, a lot of options. A loaded Sexy Beast Denali, got the folding armrest in the middle with cup holders. And oh yeah, I gotta show you this, this is cool. This is when they showed us, when it first came out, these little hidden compartments built into the seat. So you can put your 45 or binoculars or whatever you need. And you get that on the other side too, which is cool. So I can load this up, this has got a lot of room in it. Sliding back window. Yep, there's that big Denali grill. So awesome. They got the tow hooks going the opposite way the Chevy does. And they stick out far enough you can use them. Of course, they got the fog lights going a different direction too. Such a good looking, tough looking truck. The hood scoop goes into your air filter. Gives you a little better cooling. Doesn't necessarily give you power, but it does give you cooling. This screen. It's eight and a half inches, whatever it is. I love the knobs, love the knob controls. And you got all your climate controls right there in your fan, and this has independent uh, climate control. Of course, there we go. There's the uh, starting up the engine button. Then that first button there is your exhaust brake. Then you got, of course, heated and cooled seats for both sides. And then you've got, uh, after exhaust brake, you got lane departure, the parking button. There's that uh, cargo light. Your hazards and sway control and you turn on your your 110 outlets and then try in the, the uh, bed or where else now this is cool watch this i'll push this button 
and all four windows. I don't know if you can see all four at the same time. That might be tricky, but I push that and all of them go down, all four. I guess that's for the Chinese fire drill. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> or if there's a fire and you got all four jump out the window at the same time. But I remember when they first came out with that, so I don't know if that's just instantly cool you off and you get into a hot truck. But it's pretty cool. Of course, the steering wheel's got all their other controls, your cruise control, adaptive cruise. You can check all of your controls in the middle console by moving them around and up and down. Takes a while to go through all of them. There's a lot of stuff in there for towing a trailer too and all the things you would do. But yeah, it's an alley. It's got it all lined up. I think this uh, one camera, the backup mirror must be shut off because I can't push buttons, nothing happens. I gotta find that adaptive thing, but it's so cool. It's like a really high density mirror. Makes everything really bright and it's wider than your normal mirror. And you can go back and forth between normal mirror and this camera mirror. I'm getting used to it, but it's really an intense picture that it shows, but it shows a real wide angle, which is good. Your door controls are the normal ones, the mirrors, the seats, and this has a telescoping mirror. Now on this telescoping mirror, if I push this button, it'll go all the way out, both together just by pushing the button, push it again, and they come all the way in. And then you can fold the mirrors, which is pretty common now in the industry. Now up here you got the mode button and that is basically for your you would only turn that over for your tow haul mode then you got your four-wheel drive buttons there this is all on the left side of the steering wheel now it has auto I think this is the only heavy-duty truck that has an automatic four-wheel drive that comes on when you need it the half tons have had it for quite a while and I'm amazed that they can do that to heavy-duty transmission especially at Allison 10 speed but they say they've got it done of course, you got the fog light. You've got uh, dimmer and lighter for your dash. And this button here actually turns on your. Let's see if I can see that. Turns on your backup camera for your trailer. It's in your mirrors. You've got a lot of cool stuff on here. Then here are those stickers that tell you everything about the truck: towing capacity, ton capacity, axle capacity, payload. I love these stickers. I wish they all had these. So you don't have to look up everything on the website. This tells you all the details of this exact truck. Now those two lights are near the mirror those help you back up they come on I haven't figured out how to get them on pushed all these buttons and put it in reverse and did all that stuff so it must be when it's folded it doesn't work but that's where they are they're a nice light it's a good setup when you have your mirror folded out you can actually see what's going on with your trailer that's where you need them I know before we put them on the end use them for a spotlight but that doesn't help you with the trailer and I'm not really the police so I don't run around and use my spotlight to check all the houses and make sure they're locked up so I don't understand that but I do like the way the GM sets them up well, that is cool that's the front camera shows the 360 and it shows what I'm doing and if I put it in reverse then it shows my reverse view Isn't that cool 